nowadays. People want experience. You can't get experience while going to college. I have to go to some low-end job, try to get my experience, but one of my civil engineering teachers brought me to this uh, FAME AMT program, sign-up sheet on the website. I was like, yeah, why not? Let's try it, you know. They started telling me how it was an internship program, how I could go to work and school at the same time. I would have two years of maintenance under my belt. That's what really drew me to it. I think you have to visually and hands-on do it to understand it. That's the way I learned. And if I was just stuck in a classroom, you know, doing a lecture, writing down notes, I would have never understood it. They were actually real problems. They sent me with a mentor they believe had what higher skilled, you could say. So I was with him all day. We would get a call. I would be right there with him in his back pocket. He would need a hand. I would jump in there, ask him a lot of questions, what's going on. He would teach me. He would uh, tell me, hey, you need to loosen this up before you do this. They actually offered me an internship for about two months. And after that, positions came available and they came straight to me and asked me if I wanted the position. <laughs> and it was awesome, you know, because they didn't have to look for it. They came straight to me and I was just like, that's an honor. Every day I'm just one thing after another. Not everything's the same thing. I mean, there's people out there needing maintenance technicians like me, like anybody else. And all it takes is two years. Man, it's been unbelievable, really. I mean, being 21, I have a paid off 2017. I mean, that's probably not a lot to other people, but to me, that's, you know, I got my own car now.